हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक कर्नल बाड़ी और न्यू बाड़ी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी टुक वन रिक्वायरमेंट दैट इन एम एम जीरो वन वी वॉन्ट टू हाइड दीज बटन सो इफ आई विल गो टू एम एम जीरो वन आई विल पास इंडस्ट्री सेक्टर एंड मेटीरियल टाइप वी वॉन्ट टू हाइड दीज बटन्स एडिशनल डेटा एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेवल we will achieve this requirement through kernel body or new body now the first thing how we can find a kernel body or new body the first way is you can put a break point on the statement call body or get body system will show you all the kernel or new bodies one by one and you can check which one is useful to you if you remember in function module exit we put the break point on the statement call customer hyphen function with the help of that we identified function module exit now if we will put the break point on call body or get body we can identify the kernel bodies or new body definitions now this is the most most preferable way from a technical person or a bab person because they are more comfortable in debugging they will use debugging skills to identify something so this is the most preferable way to find a kernel body or new body we will use this way firstly i will go to mm01 industry sector is there material type is there i will go to debugging mode i will on the debugging through slash h i will put the break point break point break point at statement we have call body and get body i'll press enter i will do f8 system stopped on to kernel body or new body which is available but at this point of time i will not check because see once the pop up will come and we will choose basic data one after that we want to check whatever the kernel bodies or new bodies available because after that only the screen is coming where we want to hide those buttons so at this point of time i'll simply come out i will do f8 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 now the pop up came i'll choose basic data one now i will click on okay now we will search the kernel bodies or new bodies i'll go for continue now this is the first new body or kernel body available the system stopped on to get body or call body we will open the code in debugging and we will check is this phase this um is this helping us to achieve our requirement now lots of new learning so i'll say lots of object oriented learning will again come into picture because body is all about object oriented programming if we will see there is a statement get body l underscore body now what is this l underscore body if i will double click l underscore body is referring to this particular thing in object oriented programming we started whenever we are declaring something using type ref2 it means this is a object this object is referring to this if i will double click you can see this is our body definition so this object is referring to this particular body definition we all know body definition is all about the interface yes we have the interface in the interface do we have the methods yes we have the methods now we will see which method sap is using before we come on to method just see this statement sap has written get body and object name 
Now we will simply compare it to our object oriented programming. See how we can create a object in object oriented programming. We have a specific syntax. How we can create a object? Create object object name. This is the way how we can create a object. Now SAP has written a statement get body L underscore body. So what is this particular syntax? This syntax is to create a object of kernel body or new body. If someone asks you how you can create a object or how SAP created the object of kernel body or new body, the answer is get body and the object name. This object is referring to this particular body. Now, we will go for more more details so that topic will make sense to you. With the help of this object, we are calling this method. With the help of object, we are calling this method. It means this method is 100% will be a instance method. We have an instance method. That's why we are doing everything through object. If I will double click on the method, this is your interface by definition interface. And this is the method. This is the method. If I will check this method, is this method is a instance method? Yes, this is an instance method. So that's why this SCP did everything through the object. If a method is instance, we can call the method through the object and we need to create the object. SAP did the same to same thing. SAP firstly declare the object which is referring to the body. Then SAP created the object. Once the object created, SAP called that particular instance method. The only difference is there we have the word call method. Whenever you are calling the method, call method is coming here we have call body is coming why we are discussing because this is object oriented programming we can find yes we can find through by putting the breakpoint on get body and call body but how sap is using all the object oriented programming this is all about that understanding now what is our and what is our requirement? We want to hide those buttons in the application toolbar. We will see. Is this method will help us to achieve our requirement? If I will double click on the method, this is the method. This method description is set program of integrated processing routine. This is not our requirement. It means this particular this particular part will not help us to achieve our requirement. Now we will proceed further. We will move next. I will do F8. F8. Now I will again do F8 because it is calling multiple times. Now I moved on to new part now. Now this is the next part where the system stopped. I will open the code into new window. You can see we have same to same process. We have object which is referring to body definition, creating the object with the help of object calling the method. But this is same to same by definition. But just see previously the method name was different. Now the method name is different for that particular by definition previously. In this by definition, the method name was this. Now the method name is this, which is referring in the code now. This one. Now, now we will see is this method is helping us to achieve our requirement. I will double click on the method. This is the method PF status S E T Z E N. Is this the same? Yes, PF status S E T Z E N. What this method is saying, set the GUI status for integrated object. Is this our requirement? Yes, this is our requirement. And we want to 
hide the buttons in the application toolbar and what is application toolbar it is a part of gui status only once you double click on the method you will get more clarity this is the method if i will check the parameters of the method see there is a changing parameter there is a changing parameter if you see the description of this parameter functions which you want to activate or deactivate we want to deactivate those functions so it means we will fill this internal table it means we will write the logic but implementation we will do in the future so it means in this particular body definition in this particular by definition this particular method in this interface this particular method will help us to achieve our requirement we will write the logic into this method to write the logic we will create implementation later but the first most important thing is how you can find how you can find so i'll simply note down these things so this particular body definition will help us and we will implement which method we will implement or we will write the logic into this method now now we will go for a, another learning see whenever you are double clicking on to the by definition how you identified that this is a new body or kernel body because it is in your enhancement spot it is in your enhancement spot and we all know all new bodies and kernel bodies are in a container that is called as enhancement spot in the future or in the project you sometimes you see so many by definitions in one enhancement spot it means that enhancement spot is a container for the all new all new bodies or kernel body definitions so this is the most most preferable way to find a new body or kernel body just put a break point on the statement get body or call body now this is the first way by which we identified the kernel body or new body second and third way is same as that of classic body we identified the classic bodies by this way also same to same you can find pass the package name of the program and so many times you saw this way now we will see this way again we'll go to mm01 and we will check the package name now system status i will double click go to attributes when we cover the difference between classic body and new body at that time also i show this process i'll go to scad we will choose the radio button body name yes you have to choose the radio button body name we'll go to f for help information system we will choose kernel based bodies package i'll go for okay do we have same to same body which we identified yes this is our kernel body or new body it is in this particular enhancement spot so you can check through enhancement spot also once you will put the enhancement spot you will get all the kernel bodies or new bodies available in that enhancement spot i'll just do it again i think it has not copied so this is your by definition and it is in this enhancement spot i'll copy this enhancement spot name i'll put it here so this is our enhancement spot and in this we have this body definition this kernel body or new by definition we have a interface 
and we will implement this particular method. So this is another way you can find a new body or I'll say kernel body, the same way you identified the classic bodies also. And third way, which we are always, always doing, pass the package name of the program in SC84 transaction code. So we will go to SC84 transaction code. We'll choose enhancements, business add-ins. We'll choose kernel bodies. Same to same path is there. We will put the package name and you can see we are able to find same to same kernel body or new body. So this is another way to find a new body or kernel body. Now, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we studied how to find a kernel body or new body. And we discussed the most, most preferable way. You have to put a breakpoint on call body or get body keyword. And at that time, we learned so many things. If you want to create an object of kernel body, how you can create get body object name. If you want to call that body, we have the keyword is call body. So SAP is doing everything through object because our all methods are instance method. Then second and third way are totally same, which we learned in the classic bodies also. You can put the package name in SC18 transaction code or you can put the package name in SC84 transaction code. With the help of that, you can identify the new body or kernel body. In the next video, we will implement this particular kernel body or new body through SC19 transaction code. The most important part we studied in this particular thing is enhancement spot. And see, the major difference between classic body and new body is all about enhancement spot. Rest everything is same. So that's it in this video. We will continue the implementation in the next video. Thank you.